I got involved in a very inappropriate relationship. Um, the person was um, a far much older person and unfortunately that caused a lot of chaos in the family. Um, I was running away so often at home that um, if I was five minutes late from school they would call the police because they said pull him and ran away again. Oh, you know, okay. so um, um, it was very chaotic. And then I was actually staying in a concession stand and an abandoned concession stand behind um, the high school. I became a dumpster diver, you know, very shortly. And I remember watching the seniors of my high school all leave to their senior retreat. And when they all returned, happy as could be, I was just, it just, I was just mortified just thinking that I was never gonna have a senior retreat. And then I remember they were leaving stuff on the lawn, stuff in the trash can. And after they left, I was going in a trash can to look for food. And I could not believe that it got that bad. While I was with my parents uh, sometime in my childhood, we lost the house due to the drug uses and they couldn't pay the bills. So we went out with a carnival. While we were on the road, you know, they had me lying to the police. I had a fake name. Um, they would use me as a decoy in stores, you know, while they shoplift. So it kind of rubbed off on me, you know, so me never knowing that was wrong, you know, I started stealing very young. I think I was like eight when I started like really stealing stuff. I was about 10, um, I was nine or 10 when um, I started understanding, you know, what the drugs were. Mm -hmm. One day, um, me and my parents were in a, like a park or a pond or whatever that was in out. They were, you know, doing the drugs or whatever. So one lady stopped by, she asked me, you know, where's your parents? It's kind of late out here. And I told her, I said, well, they're, they're in the back. You know, they, you know, they told me to run along. She said, well, you stay right here. I'll be right back. And she left. And I stayed there, and she brought the police back with her. And the uh, police asked me where my parents were. And I told them, you know, and they busted them doing the drugs. So from that point on, I was in CPS. This past summer, I went to go stay with my biological mom. And, um, she had been clean off of drugs for a year. And so it was just kind of a, I guess you could say, a discovery summer for me, just trying to figure out where I came from, um, you know, what parts of me did I get from her. And um, while I was there, she uh, started getting back on drugs again. And then I had come home that night, and apparently she arranged, basically you could say she hit me out for that night um, and a man came in there I don't know anything about him I don't even know what he looked like um, and he took advantage of me he raped me and the next thing I hear is my mom counting the money that he gave her she, you know she was supposed to protect me and she was just waiting for it to end so she could get what she wanted Sometimes I get terrified just thinking about if I didn't go to Promise House. I really honestly believe that I probably would have been dead or I really would have had a very unhappy, um, short life. I have a therapist. Um, she, she's really helping me find myself because after all that time I've been without a family, uh, it, has taken, it has taken a toll on me as a person. And I didn't know that. Leslie Ann is a program for young mothers or um, young mothers-to-be, um, which that's the boat I'm in. And um, we have all sorts of things that we do, from going to parenting classes, teaching us to cook. They teach you so many resources um, so you can take care of your child. And so when it does come, you're ready to be the best mother that you possibly can be. Because some of these kids come here without hope. They're, they're demoralized. I came here believing that I could never get back on track. I never, I didn't think I could finish high school because I was so far behind. And, you know, Promise House offered school here. And um, 
they were able to not let me get behind. They were, if it wasn't for that, then I feel that I probably would have had a whole different direction. And um, yeah, I, I, I really love the staff here. They, they, they do a wonderful job as far as connecting with me on my level. They'd rather take your time with you and you know, make sure it's successful. I think that Leslie Ann just teaches you that you are capable of being a great mom. And that, yes, it came out, you know, surprising circumstances, you didn't plan it. However the child came about, it's still going to come out of love. And that your child doesn't have to come out of shame. That you can have a happy childhood for your child and you can be a great mother and you can love it and it can be a great kid. And that your child is going to have purpose, even though you had a rough start that your child doesn't have to. They give you a hand to get back up and say, you know what, just dust yourself off. You got a long way to go, but you're not gonna do it alone. Probably the, the best thing that came out of it is that it was a very important timeout situation. Um, my parents were able to think about how they were gonna handle me returning back to the home. Um, my parents were offered counseling. Um, I was offered um, long-term counseling, so I, I just, I have just wonderful things to say about Promise House. Without Promise House, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in the Navy. You know, I wouldn't have had my first job. Without them, you know, I would have been on the streets, you know, like with, no, with nothing, you know. It's a safe place. It really is a safe place. And I think it's, you know, I know it's definitely been a character, character building experience in my life. And I'm very grateful for it. I'm going to love this baby. And from all the help from Leslie Ann and the people that donate, that I'm going to be able to be that good mom because of what they do. My longest term goal is to be a psychiatrist. I always want to help other people, you know, because I know how it feels to be, you know, kind of with nothing, you know. I know how it feels to be on the come up, you know what I'm saying. And when I finally get to where I want to be, I can actually help somebody be what they want to be. You know what I'm saying? So it's always been my dream to help somebody else. And if I can do that, that's really all, that's all, that's all I want to do. And uh, I will lots of promise house. And if, uh, I know if I ever have enough money to get back, that's the first place I get to. a success today. I am a success today. Because of you, because of your support today, I'll be a success tomorrow.